Let's take a look at comparing fractions, decimals and percentages. Now, when you've got a mixture of fractions, decimals and percentages, my advice would be to simply convert everything into a percentage. You could convert them all into decimals, but my, with, in my experience, people find percentages much easier to deal with than decimals. 0 0.43 is a decimal, so to convert that into a percentage, we're gonna multiply by 100, so that's 43%. To convert a fraction into a percentage, remember it's top divided by bottom times by 100, but here we've got a denominator of 25, and a fraction out of 25 is quite easy to convert into a percentage. Remember, percent means out of 100. So to turn a 25 into a 100, you're multiplying by 4. So for the equivalent fraction, we need to multiply the top by 4. So that's 48 out of 100, so this is 48%. So the largest is 48%, which is 12 25ths. That's the largest of the three, followed by 45%, and then followed by 0 0.43. In this next example, fraction into a percentage is three top divided by bottom times 100, or three divided by five multiplied by 100, or if you remember that one fifth is 20%, then three fifths is triple 20%, so that is 60%. Here's a decimal, we're going to multiply that one by 100, so that is 61.5% and 63%. So the smallest is 60%, so the smallest is 3 fifths. The next smallest is going to be the 0 0.615, and then the largest or the least small is the 63%. So as you can see, very easy if you convert everything into percentages.